Kashmir still fights the worst floods in 60 years. About 4 lakh people are stranded and desperate for help across the state. Our reporters spread across Jammu and Kashmir bring you these dispatches, stories of survivors and the brave effort of the army. I'm at the worst affected area of uh, Srinagar. This uh, behind me is the Jawahar Nagar Kursu Rajbagh area. And as you can see, uh, it's completely waterlogged. This is the scene in most of the uh, surrounding areas. Uh, the water level is still, it's, it's not receding. It's still almost still second and third floors have been covered. And there are still thousands of people inside who are trapped. Uh, uh, kids, uh, elderly, uh, patients, everyone is stranded there. And in fact, there is right now at this place there is no help from the army there is no civil administration and whatever help is coming in is from coming from local people who have made crude boats just to go inside and ferry people there are such things that are happening all across this band area uh, this embankment of uh, the jhelum river on this side of uh, uh, south uh, srinagar now, as you can see behind me this is the scene and uh, right now although the choppers have been pressed into service there but they are getting out only a few people because the magnitude is very big there are thousands of people who are still trapped inside there are as i said children there are elderly there are patients who are trapped inside and need immediate help now what these people are saying is that they need boats there are very less boats and in fact as i said they have made crude boats they have made boats out of uh, uh, things uh, all, all out of uh, things that uh, really are right now available with them. They need boats and they need hundreds of boats right now to go into this area because every passing minute people are losing hope. There are people who are in desperate need of medicines, of there are ill people inside, so they immediately need help. So they need more boats right now. That is the SOS from this particular area. And in fact, right now there are rescue operations that are happening across the Srinagar city. But this is the worst affected area. The, uh, the, the height of this water water is around 15 to 20 feet so you can imagine complete houses have gone underneath the water so this is the worst affected area but right now more boats required medicine re medicines required and food required for these people rescue required because other than that uh, these people locals are handling they are bringing in relief but rescue is right now which is the priority <laughs> बोटें इतनी हैं नहीं जो उन बंद उन बंदों को निकाल सके वहाँ पे वो तो आवाजें मारते हैं मगर वहाँ पे बोट्स हैं नहीं जो उनको निकाल सके वहाँ पर बाकी देखे जो डैमेज मेरे सामने जो सुबह की आज सुबह की न्यूज़ है नौ चार मकान मेरे सामने डैमेज हुए थे जिसमें तेईस बंदे थे उसमें से सिर्फ चार बाहर निकले हुए हैं वो भी अपनी हिम्मत से बाकी बाकी तो बाकी मकान के नीचे ही हैं सारे गवर्नमेंट का कोई अता पता नहीं है कि गवर्नमेंट है कि नहीं हमें इस टाइम खाली बोटों की जरूरत है लोगों को बचाने की जरूरत है यहाँ के जो लोकल पीपल है उन्होंने दो से निकाल के उनको निकाला है तीन दिन के बाद दो दिन के बाद अब आई एयरफोर्स की टीम आर्मी की टीम वो इनको निकाल रही है बाकी हमने तो खुद ही काम किया के जो लोकल से उनने काम किया गवर्नमेंट ने दस दिन अभी तक कितने लोगों बचे और कहाँ कहाँ फंसे हैं लोग अभी हमने हमारे जो टीम है दो लड़के हमारे अपने वॉल्टियर से यहाँ पे उन्होंने कम से कम चार लोगों को बचाया अब तक Times Star correspondent Padma Jha sends this dispatch from flood ravaged areas in Rambagh speaking to survivors who've questioned the state government's efforts. Right behind me is the Rambagh area which still remains completely inundated and tempers are running extremely high even as the NDRF is trying to launch as many rescue operations as possible but one can understand that the lifeboats are in short supply. At one time, only about 10 people can be accommodated in these lifeboats. So the NDRF is carrying out one sortie in every few minutes. But even then, the people who are waiting on the sides are worried about the safety of their families. They are wondering why their families haven't been brought back uh, yet. And their patience is running very thin and tempers are flying. किसी का कोई जान पहचान वाला है उसको ये बोर्ड प्रोवाइड करते हैं ऐसे हम सुबह तीन चार घंटे से यहाँ खड़े हुए हैं कुछ नहीं हो रहा है पूछ रहे हैं कि कोई जान पहचान वाला है तो तभी आपको बोर्ड मिलेगा कैसे मिलेगा बोर्ड हमारे 46 
सब आदमी है हमारे घर के जो सदस्य है जवाहर नगर में एक मकान में फंसे हुए हैं मकान दिस रहा है कल से वो कल लेकिन अभी जैसे बोर्ड आई भी है थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा इवेक्यूएशन सुबह से आज आठ दिन से चार पांच दिन हो गया ब्लड हुआ आज बोर्ड अगर आए हुए ये क्या गवर्नमेंट की पॉलिसी है आज भेज रहे हैं छह दिन से फंसे हुए लोग सारा कश्मीर जल रहा है सिटी के ऐसे एरियो में मैं विक्रम सिंह बोल रहा हूँ सिटी के ऐसे एरियाज में ब्लड हुआ है जहाँ पे कभी आया नहीं है इनको पता नहीं है कैसा करना है आज ये भेजने ये फेलियर है टोटली फेलियर है हम नटीपुरा में थे आज हमें तीन चार दिन हो गए वहाँ पे कोई मतलब कोई नहीं आया वहाँ पे तो फिर मेरे हस्बैंड ये पुलिस में थे तो उन्होंने वो लाया बोर्ड जैसा तो हम उसमें आए तो फिर आगे हम पहुँचे फिर वहाँ से हमें उन्होंने किश्ती में लाया और खाने पीने का आप आगे खाने पीने का जो हमें सामान थोड़ा बहुत हमें वही कुछ भी नहीं टोटल नहीं वहाँ पे कोई ये नहीं है बंदोबस्त कुछ भी नहीं कहाँ से लेके आए रामबाग से आप कहाँ थे मतलब बिल्डिंग पे ऊपर थे रामबाग अपनी बिल्डिंग से निकलकर दूसरे की बिल्डिंग में थे मगर वहाँ भी एक मंजिल तक पानी है कितने दिन से वहाँ से दो दिन से तो कौन थे आपके साथ ये मेरा पिताजी है हाँ। तो कैसे आप आप निकल के आए बोट से बोट वालों ने निकाला निकाला बोट वालों ने निकाला अभी अभी वहाँ और भी लोग है क्या अभी और भी बहुत सारे लोग है और वो बाएं साइड में जो है उस वहाँ पर ज्यादा पानी है हाँ। वहाँ ज्यादा लोग है वहाँ बोट नहीं जाती है नहीं जा रही वो बोट नहीं लोग हैं वहाँ पे अभी लोग बोट है मगर वहाँ बोट नहीं जा सकती है पानी ज्यादा आ रहा है वहाँ से हाँ। बोट वालों ने कोशिश की मगर उनकी बोट नहीं जा रही है Right behind me is the Rambagh area, which still remains completely inundated, and tempers are running extremely high. Even as the NDRF is trying to launch as many rescue operations as possible. Watch detailed coverage on Times Now. Time Star is helping people reach out to their friends and family. If you have a message, we will broadcast it. Kids, my both the children, Ishan Mangal, Khushbu Mangal, my parents, Purushottam Agarwal, Kumkum Agarwal, and my elder uncle and aunty, uh, Ram Ratan Agarwal and Kailash Agarwal. So they all are stuck there, and uh, there is no contact with them since Sunday evening. and uh, sunday, just, sunday evening yeah and we are trying our level best to communicate with them the helpline numbers are of no use it's uh, giving the message that the lines are busy not reachable and i just hope that they are safe because my son he is asthmatic and last when i spoke to him he said ke mama i want to come back mujhe pani se bahut dar lagta hai you please save me i don't want to be here i want to come back again As the flood situation continues to remain grim in the valley, our correspondent Pooja Shali reports from a memorial hall in Rawalpura that has been converted into a shelter home. These are several women who have been rescued either by their own relatives from the forces by other people. They have now come together at a marriage hall here, a community center converted into a shelter because they are in fact survivors and who now are trying to help other people who are constantly pouring in. I have been meeting them. These specific women are from areas like Batmalu and other areas. This is Rawalpura, which has not been much affected. And finally, let me tell you. they are specifically trying to help other people and trying to provide food which is now been donated personally by people locals here in shrinivas with it they are josh ali for times now a lot of people are playing still clinging on to the rooftop they are hoping for the best they are hungry they are waiting for food packages the helicopter is all they have Watch detailed coverage on Times Now. I'm right now on board an ALS advanced flight helicopter, the Dhruv of the Indian Army, the Army Aviation Corps, and right now we are hovering over the area of Punch to assess the damage uh, sustained by this area due to the floods. And let me tell you, so far we've seen extensive damage done to roads, other structures, uh, bridges, etc. Just now there was a bridge that we saw that was a portion of it was washed off uh, washed off because of which the punch area is completely cut off and the indian army is trying to restore this bridge there are other areas as well in rajouri that have suffered extensive damage and on this chopper there is a special para commando of the indian army this specially trained commando uh, is on board this chopper so that just in case there's a distress call from anywhere where there are stranded people need to be evacuated 
evacuated immediately. This chopper responds to that call and with the help of help of winching machine, uh, this commando is lowered uh, to the people in distress and those people are evacuated immediately wherever such need arises. Right now we are uh, uh, over the area of Punch. Uh, this area is completely cut off as of now from the rest of the state of Jammu and Kashmir and the essential supplies are only replenished by way of these helicopters, the helicopters of the Indian Army as well as the Indian Air Force. Yesterday we also went to Riyasi area in Mahal where we saw the Indian Army was uh, uh, sending essential supplies to the people who are stuck there. Uh, and Indian Army uh, is also using its advanced flight helicopters to reach out to those people uh, in distress, in need. And uh, use, by using these helicopters, the Indian Army had also rescued uh, some BSF people who were struck on their post which had uh, come under the area which was uh, extensively flooded and uh, by using these choppers as well as the uh, highly trained men, these para commandos, uh, at least four of the BSF uh, men were uh, evacuated uh, from that area that was right on the, uh, on the, the line of control in Punch area itself. And right now we are landing uh, in Punch uh, on this uh, military helipad and we are going to further see the kind of damage that has been uh, sustained by the area, the infrastructure and how the Indian Army is trying to restore those, uh, uh, those uh, devastated areas uh, and how the Indian Army is uh, doing its bit in restoring the connectivity to these very crucial areas. Uh, well, uh, the heavy rains started uh, with effect from third morning and third, fourth, fifth, the rains continued and all the water bodies in the Punch district, they were overflowing with the water touching to about 10 feet of this uh, level and as a result, there was extensive damage to the property of the civilian people, the houses, worth about 110 houses in the Punch town itself stands damaged, 60 totally damaged and 50 partially damaged. Uh, the bridges, three important bridges to the Punch town, that is the... Uh, Drungli Nala, where we are standing now, the Shere Kashmir, the main connectivity, and the TDR Nala, which is connecti uh, connecting the trade center. All three bridges uh, stand damaged uh, presently. The people have suffered badly. There are worth about 1,500 people who stand, uh, who have been displaced from their houses. Uh, this is all the damage going on. And uh, any casualty figure that you have of the area, sir? Uh, so far, uh, the figures what we have got is 21 civilian people dead with four missing and uh, there is uh, no power supply to the town, there is no water supply to the town and apart from that, uh, worth about 186 uh, local animals uh, dead, uh, worth about 80 vehicles washed away. Uh, this, this is what the so specific... So what is the army's role in alleviating this uh, problem uh, as well as this uh, trouble of the people is concerned? See, for the first three days, our focus was to save the lives of the people because they were struck at all the places. So a lot of uh, relief columns were launched and uh, we rescued the people from all the places wherever they were struck uh, in the water channels or the areas which were getting totally flooded and along with that immediately after that our focus was on the medical assistance for the, all the people who were rescued so we established the medical camps then this area being a local people to them the animals are very important so we immediately also provided them the vet medical assistance uh, to ensure that the animals the death, death of the animals can be saved and thereafter now our focus totally is on to the rehabilitation and the restoration of the connectivity which the punch town is suffering badly work is going on at bar footing pace to reconstruct and repair this Jambu Shinagar National Highway near Ramsu which has been washed away by the landslides two days back.